as we go on today. One is, um, what do you think that you could have done differently in the last 24 hours that could actually have contributed to sustainability somehow? And what would you, what would you start doing differently from now on? Maybe a single act, a small act, but that could have a large impact and could somehow contribute to sustainability throughout the globe. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Now, building on what Mai just said, and because we know that uh, we're asking you to think a lot already, and you have not necessarily a lot of time to do so, we have uh, created for this forum a sustainability challenge badge for all of you to try and um, accomplish. The badge can be found on the app in the photo challenge. We don't actually expect you to take pictures of every of the actions. The photo challenge was just the best place to put it on the app. For example, we don't expect you to take a picture of you in the shower for less than four minutes. We have also gone uh, analog, building on the knowledge that uh, Wi-Fi is unreliable, and you can now find a sign right at the entrance that lists all the potential little actions you can take, like going vegetarian for a, me for a meal, um, that can make a little difference. Now, because we're scouts, and there's nothing that motivates, motivates us better than winning a badge, well, there are badges that have been specially made for this you can win if you uh, follow 10 of the different activities, including calculating your carbon footprint for your flight coming here. How do you calculate your carbon footprint, you may ask? Well, Google is your friend, as for many things. Just type carbon footprint calculator and you'll find dozens of websites that very easily, in less than two minutes, will give you your carbon footprint. Once you have that, and uh, provided that on your scouts, honor you uh, tell me that you have followed uh, about uh, nine other activities listed on the challenge, you will get to have one of those little babies. So please, please try to take the time. Most of it is really easy. It's uh, turning off the, the, the tap while you're uh, using the soap. It's really simple little things that uh, you don't have to really work hard to, to, to do. Keep your uh, plate clean at the end of the meal, these kind of things. So try it out. Every little thing counts. And I would hope not to have any ba badges left at the end of the forum. I have more than 100. So please, give this a try. It might even be fun. Who knows? Now, for a little bit more fun, I would like to ask Doina and then Nargis to come to <laughs> the front for today's announcements. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right, that's better. So today's announcements. Please don't forget to put up your leadership story on social media with hashtag leadership, hashtag scout forum. And also add posting your leadership skill posted on the banners. It will be on the banners, I apologize. It will be hanged somewhere. So the banners are right here. You can see them in the corner. Second thing, uh, don't forget to answer survey evaluation in the app after each session. <laughs> Third, uh, the open space sign-up sheets will be up outside the plenary hall at lunchtime. Also at lunchtime, uh, the marketplace arrangement will start. The location has changed. It is now in this building downstairs. And now I would ask the drafting committee members to stand up so we can recognize them. You shall be four. Yes, that's correct. Uh, we're going to have a meeting today in the first coffee break here in the plenary. So please stay here in the plenary for a meeting. Thank you very much. This was it. Thank you, Donna. OK. Please pay attention. I have a very important announcement to make regarding today's agenda. When we were planning the forum, we tried our very best 
to make every aspect of the forum relevant and youth-friendly. But we have also been listening. Listening especially to the feedback that was collected through the exercises in the international teams. And we have therefore made some changes in today's agenda. So here are the changes on the screens. As you can see, we have now reduced, well, I guess you can't really see, but we have now reduced the Unlock Your Potential training sessions to three sessions. That way, each session will be a little longer and you will have proper time to get to the different places without rushing. I also want to say that taking into consideration the feedback that you would like to have more time to uh, think of about amendments or points for the final declarations, attendance to those breakout sessions will be optional. It is up to you to decide whether you feel the trainings might bring you something more than the exercise of creating amendments. As Doina just said, we have also decided that we will not have a specific time slot for the marketplace. We will install it during lunch in the planner in, the, in this building. And we will use the one and a half hour we gain through that to have the writing amendment workshop that was planned a little later. And to give you even more time for discussions. We have added a little time to the forum declaration drafting workshop that we moved earlier. And you will still have after this workshop an extra hour for informal times for international teams and national delegations to discuss potential amendments or points for the final declaration. At 6.30, the deadline to choose which open forum session you want, you want to attend is still uh, active. And the deadline to submit proposals, so amendments, points for the final declaration, changes to constitutional amendments, is tonight at 8.30 as I already said yesterday and as I will repeat later today, this needs to be submitted by email to uh, dpostica at scout.org. So Doina um, will repeat uh, the email address and come to any of us at any, at any time. We shall finish. We shall uh, finish the night with a cultural night, and uh, as far as I heard, there will be some bowling involved. So be prepared. Get your special shoes, your sport pants. I hope that these changes will help us to move ahead with the forum, help you have the time that you've felt was missing to discuss, reflect, and be able to provide quality content that will enable us to have an impact at the World Scout Conference. I would like to invite Cynthia to come to the stage to share with you information about the open forum session requests we received. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you, Jeremy. Good morning. Good morning. Buenos dias. OK. Thank you for bearing with us and the change on the agenda. Uh, we are trying to do our best, but we need to do some adjustments on what you sign up already. Please be ready to check on the list on the outside of the plenary hall to, to remember where are you sign up. But first, because we've reduced the time, there's only going to be three slots of sessions, not four. So in the fourth one, you will not have the fourth session. Um, can we have the display? The sessions are distributed in this building, in the fire building, and in the ice building. We will, we will display now the distribution of the sessions and the, the facilitator in charge, but you can also ask your facilitators when you arrive once the change are going on. Okay, so just for information, 
the Better World Framework session that was scheduled twice, because of this change, will happen only once. So the people who were signing up for the second time, please find other sessions where you can participate because the Better World session will happen only once. Do we have the display, Toino? It's not working. Okay. Um, so the Better World Framework session will be here in the plenary hall, if you want to take note on this. The U report session will happen in this floor, just going down from the escalators. Then we will have project management, sustainability, no, per, sorry, project management will happen also in this building, in the terrace. Sustainability, partnership, fundraising, art of negotiation, inspiring volunteers, it's good and I can measure it. Diversity and inclusion, all will happen in the ICE building, which is the white building at the end. And then Youth for Change will happen in the FIRE building, which is the building in the center. If you have questions along, please contact your facilitator. They'll, they have an information sheet like this, so you can ask. And we will try to put also maps so you can locate where you are. From here, please, once we finish the plenary, try to find your first lot where you sign up and move so the facilitators are already waiting there for your, um, for your session. The first block of session will start from 9 a.m. to 10.45. At 10.45, we will have coffee break. There is coffee break organized in this building and coffee break organized in the ICE building. There is no coffee break in the fire building, so you need to move in one of these places to have coffee break. And after coffee break, there's only one more session round, and then you will have, as Jeremy mentioned, the time to work on the different other topics that we shared with you. Thank you very much. Woo. Give me some love, thank you. All right, we've made quite a bit of important announcements. Is everything clear as there, are there any questions? Seeing none. I would then close this morning announcement session and please ask you to get to your different breakout groups. Thank you very much. Thank you.